I'm going to show you how to polish up a piece of silver from scratch. So I've annealed, soldered, pickled my ring. And what I've got to do next is I'm going to file it back in places. I'm going to take it up to a fairly high polish. And I'm going to do that with my motorized tool. In this case, I'm using a Dremel. So because it's got a motor, you definitely want to use some safety glasses and put those, if you need to, over your spectacles because you only have one pair of eyes. So if you do have any severe scratches on there, on your piece, you can use your file, and that can be a needle file or a big flat file, but remember your file will leave file marks. So once you've filed away your solder join, uh, you can even spend more time doing the edges. I'm going to rush through this for the demonstration. But with the file marks, you need to get rid of those. So there is some hand work to do first, a little bit of sandpaper, an emery stick, or some sanding pads will help as well. So after you've got your file marks, you're going to have your sanding marks, and you can work your way through different grades of sandpaper to get to a higher shine. I know it seems like it's manual labor, but actually it's really, really important. If you want a really good high shine, it's really important not to skip this stage. The next thing we're going to do, now I have skipped through that stage, but I just want to show you quickly what we do next. Now, much like a piece of sandpaper, we have a rubber burr, and the rubber burr has got a little bit of grit in it. That little bit of grit is going to perform the same task as some sandpaper, but because it's slightly softer, I still needed to sand it by hand first. So that I'm going to place into my Dremel flexi shaft. And to do that, we've got a multi chuck in the front of the flexi shaft, which is a fantastic piece or attachment because it gives you uh, the ability to put any thickness attachment into that. So when you're attaching that, you use the silver button on the, on the side to allow that to open or close. Place in your attachment. And then if that is too open, then you need to close it down a bit more so it fits in nice and snugly. And then keep your hand on the silver button, turning it until it's as tight as you can possibly take it. Releasing the silver button. And that release of the silver button locks it into place so it doesn't come flying out when you're using it. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place my Dremel onto um, a speed. So the speed that you choose is up to you, but you don't want it to be on the fastest speed, nor do you want it to be on the slower speed. So in this case, I'm using between 15 and 20 revs per minute. Okay, placing it on, and then holding my piece firmly in my hand and resting my hand on the table, I can use the rubber burr to start to sand all the way around the ring. So where you were struggling to get into any grooves and bumps, the rubber burr will help you to do that. It's Because it's motorized, it's really, really effective. And what's really great about the shape burr is you can then go inside the ring as well. But make sure you hold it really firmly because it can fly off and get a little bit, uh, it feels a little bit scary when that happens. So you can see almost instantly that that's starting to really be effective. Flip it over in the opposite way so that you have an even spread of the way the tool is putting pressure onto your design. Spend some time getting that nice and even. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll move on to our polishing mop. So I'm just going to change the attachment, switch it off first, and in the same way that I attach that, I'm going to use the silver button, open up the multi-chuck, and I'm going to put a cotton mop. Now this is on a slip attachment, which is a slightly thicker pin, so you'll need to open that up a little bit further. Keep going. 
and then close that tighter. Now this particular attachment is slightly unusual because it's got the quick change attachment. So for those who have got this variety of attachments, the way you use it, you pull it down, you see it's got a little bow tie type thing, which corresponds to the inlet on that side. And you pop that in and make sure that it's twisted and let go. Test it out. And then what we're going to do is we're going to open up some of our polishing compound. In this case, it is a rouge red polishing compound that comes with the Dremel, or you can buy it separately. And we'll add some of that on, but we'll do that once the tool is on. We need that. We need Dremel Rouge or any polishing compound. This is going to give us a high shine. Now, I would say that if you haven't spent a lot of time cleaning up with your sandpaper and your other attachments, it will almost highlight the scratches. So spend loads more time cleaning that up really well, and then you'll get a good high shine. But I'll show you how it works, and we'll go from there. So placing this back on. It is very mucky, so wear a mask. And also be aware that it does give off some red dust, so don't work in a very clean, immaculate environment. Hold really firmly onto your piece and spend a bit of time cleaning it up. Now, it does go black first, so it's a bit like polishing a car. Wax on, wax off. If you feel like you've added too much polishing compound, you can clean it off with some dishwashing liquid or a degreaser. And then once you've done that, you should get a nice bright shine. But keep on going. clean off some of that polish. I'm going to switch off my tool and I'm going to get rid of some of the excess polish. So you can do that underneath your tap with some dishwashing liquid or you can do it by hand or with a cloth. But as you can see it's starting to get a nice good shine on there. So it's not a quick process but it's quicker with the tool. Um, so keep on Keep on going. If you feel like it's not quite to the standard that you want, go back, do some sanding with some sandpaper and your other burrs, and you will get there. Now, to do the inside of the ring, obviously it's a little bit difficult to place that mop inside the ring. So you can use the other attachments that come with the Dremel. And we've got the felt attachments, or the ones I'm referring to. So the felt attachment, this is what we call a bullet shape one really good for getting inside curves. So it performs exactly the same task. It's not fluffy, it's nice and compact. So it actually will give you a really good finish that one as well. And that's how you polish, perseverance and hard work.